It's already the final day of Intersolar North America 2011, but we still have so much to show you. Today we're taking another deep look at the technologies moving the solar industry forward. But first we want to show you what happened last night after Intersolar TV wrapped. Enjoy! Oh man, I just love this truck. It makes me feel like a transformer. We're over in the North Hall right now, just a short walk from Moscone West. The technology in this impressive mounting system is the latest area where costs are being reduced in PV installations. While the solar industry in the United States is already booming, there are even more gains to be made when the installation process of PV installations is made more efficient. The key when doing this is to make the installation process simpler and quicker, while making sure not to lower the quality of the system. One company making strides in this area is Trina Solar. They have directly integrated a new mounting system into their panels, drastically reducing install time. It's important to focus on mounting systems because you have to look at the total installed cost of solar. We've done a great job reducing the cost of the PV modules, but we also have to look at the balance of the system. By getting the total delivered cost down, we can actually create market and expand the opportunity for solar and for the solar industry. We think this system is really unique in that it is the simplest to use. It's something that you can actually use to train people on the site how to do installation. And it does self-grounding. Uh, so it actually takes away a lot of the points of failure that you have in stick-built systems. Implementing cost reduction strategies like this are essential for the solar industry to continue to grow. Of course, cost reduction isn't the only area the industry is working to improve. Increases in energy yields are just as important. Microinverters and power optimizers are capturing the attention of panel manufacturers and solar installers. Several major panel manufacturers announced plans to incorporate microinverters into the panels, setting the stage for the creation of fully integrated solar panels. The most pressing issue for this technology increasing yields. The Nexus was fortunate enough to, to raise $41 million to push the envelope in micro inverter technology for residential and small commercial applications just recently. This will enable us to push our current topology which is focused around thin film capacitors in micro inverters for long life and reliability which of course translates into greater energy demand. U.S.-based company Tygo has identified power optimization as means to increase energy yields. With uh, Tago Energy, we provide uh, more energy to the system owner. We provide safety features and visibility so the owner can make sure that the system is up and running all the time. This is a uh, key factor to enable the market, the US market, to grow up. Embedding intelligence directly at the module level helps solve issues such as shade or soiling, which may develop during the lifespan of the installation. So you've heard enough from me about the cool tech and innovations being presented at InnoSolar North America. Now take a look at the top highlights of the week. We've enjoyed it thoroughly. It's been a great show and it's, it's been consistently busy, lots of people coming through and, and lots of opportunity for us. Well, they made some great, uh, great connections with uh, both vendors and uh, customers. It's so different and it evolves every other year. So what I thought I knew about PV, I have no idea. And there's so much new equipment. InterSolar was so good, I wish I had more time to stay at the show. It's a lot bigger this year, of course, and I think it's going to be it's going to be huge next year and can't wait. We've already looked at our booth space and we're looking to get a bigger booth for next year. So we'll definitely be back next year. We will so be it's here. been a good show. Well, that's it for this year, and this much is sure. If you want to get to know the leading people 
making lasting impressions in the U.S. solar industry, you have to be a part of Inner Solar North America. Now though, I'm getting shipped off right now to Inner Solar China. Hope to see you there. Bye.